equipo de Nepal. Team Nepal. Sangia Lotantri Guanatantra Nepal. Equipo volunteers who are, who are in charge of that come up the stage, come up the field, and grab all the cubes and put them in the place. So yeah, that stuff is called field racing stuff. And that's what the volunteers do. And as far as the robots go, the robots have to, to be put touching the walls of their respective alliance stations. And there they can drive it from, uh, yeah, they can drive from there. So they start in the wall next to the alliance station. And Sebas, I think a match already started. Can you tell us what you see down there? Okay, yeah, I see Team Nepal and Team Congo. Eritrea, yeah, Team Nepal, Team Eritrea, Lesotho from the other alliance, Team Congo, and Team North America going on. I have two minutes into the match. So the flags that you're seeing trailing each one of these robots reflects their country, believe it or not. Fun fact about Nepal, it's the only non-quadrilateral flag in existence. Those two triangles are actually representative of the Himalayan mountains, but trust when I say that they have climbed many, many mountains and challenges to make it onto this stage. We could not be more excited to see them play. Got some more action going on in the field. Team North America seems to be leaving a solar panel in their respective levels. And oh, we got a team almost flipping over. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna flip. It's in a tipping point. Oh, yeah. and it flipped. <laughs> Hopefully can write the course because they're right by that village zone if they can drop that cube. But right now it's one of those situations where it's so close yet so far. We'll see what happens in the last minute 15. We're gonna get a replay on there soon enough. You see that moment start to unfold, and then all of a sudden it just tips over, crippling for that Blue Alliance team right now with the cube in tow, but hopefully they can pick up the speed because it's only a 55-point game. There's plenty of time to make up for that lost speed. All right, hello there. I'm on field number four. Um, here we have a, like a trouble because uh, one power line kill has been delivered to the... Um, this uh, uh, power station, the reaction, and uh, we're also checking that some robots are just being delivering. They got stopped. Even 25 seconds left, still 115 points roughly. It's still plenty of time to make it up. Hopefully they can get those parking bonuses towards the end. Dominic is trying to score another red cube for the Red Lions. There goes Nepal with an amazing robot. Look at the design. Still working with that bot that's flipped over. It's got to be incredibly frustrating watch, especially if you were so close to that robot. And, and the, the, worst part, the worst part is that they're in the, in the Lion Station, but they're not parked because they're touching the grass. So, yeah, that's a bummer. Okay, seems like we have zero score. Is that right? So this is the first time I believe today at least that we've seen and it certainly won't be the last given how difficult this game can be and how difficult it is to drive these robots. The first time that a team has scored zero points. But again, we've got multiple matches for them to make up for yes. some of that lost ground. And the winner is going to be the Red Alliance with 153 points. So congratulations to Team Nepal, Team Eritrea and Team Dominica.